Hi, everyone, welcome to my channel again. Today, I am going to share about sample size determination for mean using both manual calculation and Minitab software. Before watching, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Your support will encourage me to produce more videos related to statistic, Lean Six Sigma and operation management. The objective of sample size determination for mean is to estimate the sample size needed to achieve a specific margin of error for confidence intervals for the mean with known variance. Before we proceed to sample size calculation, I will like to explain. What does margin of error mean? Sampling errors is the difference between the true values of the population and the values derived from samples of the population. Sampling error occurs because a portion, and not the entire population, is surveyed. The margin of error quantifies the amount of random sampling error in the estimation of a parameter population, such as the mean or proportion. Let's take an example for the 2020 presidential election result, which was carried out by Quinnipiac University. Pollsters asked likely voters who they would vote for in the presidential race if the election were held today. 52% said Biden, while 42% said President Trump with the 3% margin of error. Because the margin of error is 3 points, the pollsters are confident. That support for Trump in the total population is between 39% and 45% or 42% plus or minus 3 percentage points. Support for Joe Biden is between 49% and 55% or 52% plus or minus 3 percentage points. The margin of error determines the width of the confidence interval. The interval is generally defined by its lower and upper bounds. Formula for sample size determination for mean is as below. The z-value represents inverse cumulative probability of the standard normal distribution at 1 minus alpha divided by 2, where alpha is level of significance. Sigma is known for population standard deviation. On the other hand, me is margin of error and n is sample size. For example, the operations manager of a large production plant would like to estimate the average amount of time workers take to assemble a new electronic component. Assume the population standard deviation is 360 seconds. How large a sample of workers should she take if she wishes to estimate the mean assembly time to within 20 seconds? Assume that the confidence level is to be 99%. The alpha value is 0.01. The Z value is 2.576. Population sigma is 360 seconds. Margin of error is 20 seconds. Let's learn how to calculate the sample size for mean manually. By putting all the necessary values into the formula, the sample size is 2149.99. Because n must be an integer, any non-integer value must be rounded up to 2150. Let's learn how to determine the sample size using Minitab software. Choose Stat. Power and Sample Size. Select Sample Size for Estimation. In Parameter, select Mean, Normal. Under Planning Value, enter 360 in Standard Deviation. In margins of error for confidence intervals, enter 20. In confidence level, enter 99. Under confidence interval, select two-sided. Select assume population standard deviation is known. Click OK and OK. To achieve a margin of error of 20 with confidence level of 99% when estimating the mean assembly time, the operations manager needs to collect a sample size of 2150. Because n must be an integer, any non-integer value must be rounded up to 2150. When the sample sizes are larger, usually the margins of error are smaller. You want enough observations in your sample to achieve a small margin of error, 
but not so many that you waste time and money on unnecessary sampling. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Bye, see you next time.